What is up, guys? Dark Lord of Sword here again, and here's a here's a little uh, little update on the four projects that I mentioned I was still working on in my last video. Oh, from left to right, we've got a Kodachi, which is made from a from the remaining half of the Tsunagi that I used to make Gaijin Gooba's Kama. Uh, this thing with the serrated edge is. Very, very loosely inspired by a weapon from Redwall. Oh. A Gladius, which you can see I've already started building out the pommel for. Uh, that will have a uh, hemisphere guard. So I'll see right about there. And then the pommel will be a flat, will be a flattened oval. Um, and then lastly, a leaf blade, which will have a uh, a Celtic style wraparound guard, right. and uh, probably an ahistorical but rel but easier to make uh, conical pommel. I, uh, I I'm looking forward to getting to work on these, and I'm also looking forward to uh, the one other project that I have. I've I uh, I picked up the armor smith. In its, uh designer program a while back, and I'm going to be making a Rocketeer helmet. Uh, uh, the Rocketeer was actually one of the first costume was well, one was my favorite movie when I was a kid, and the Rocketeer outfit was one of the first costumes I, I, I made at, when I was a little kid. When I, with, uh, to be honest, my parents made it, but it was the first the first homemade costume I had as a kid, and with a a helmet made out of a flower pot with a piece of cardboard. And a and some uh, uh, window screen, uh, like sliding screen door screen, in for the eye plate, and then a uh, another sheet of cardboard, cut in like a tombstone shape, with a Clorox dispenser and a plastic cup, all both both of which were wrapped in aluminum foil and painted gold, and uh, <laughs> it, it came out pretty good. It came out pretty good. It uh, obviously would not fit today, but I mean, I had that thing when I was like five, but I, I've always wanted to do another Rocketeer costume, and now I can, so at least I'm going to make a helmet. So look forward to that, and these swords will all, of course, get their own videos once they're completed. Uh, I think the Kodachi is going to be next finished, uh, since I really only need to uh, build the fittings on that. I might keep it pretty pretty simple, actually, but it's going to get a Hamidashi Suba, and then I need to paint it. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to wrap the hilt or not. And I might paint it up to look like wood grain for all I know. Or something like that. Anyway, catch you guys in the next video. Oh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Dark Lord out.